Samsung is preparing to launch the Galaxy S25 FE and Galaxy Tab S11 Ultra later this year, and new leaks have just revealed the chipsets powering these devices. Interestingly, Samsung has decided not to go with Snapdragon chips this time. Instead, the company is focusing on more cost-effective options to keep prices under control and avoid any decline in sales. Let's take a closer look at what these upcoming devices have to offer, especially in terms of performance. Starting with the Galaxy S25 FE, Samsung is going with the Exynos 2400 processor. This is the same chip used in the Galaxy S20 for and S20 for Plus models, meaning it's not a huge upgrade, but still powerful enough for most users. The international variant of the S25 FE has been spotted on Geekbench, and its scores are now public. The device scored 1931 in single-core and 6516 in multi-core tests. This is slightly lower than the US variant, which previously scored 2064 and 6899 respectively. The Exynos 2400 is built using Samsung Foundries for nanometers process. It comes with a 10-core CPU setup and is paired with AMD's XGLIPS 940 GPU. The CPU configuration includes for cores running at 1.96 GHz, 3 at 2.00 GHz, 2 performance cores at 2.90 GHz, and 1 high performance core at 3.1 GHz. That's a solid setup for a fan edition phone. As for RAM, the base Galaxy S25 models were upgraded to 12 GB, but the FE version may still start with 8 GB of RAM. That might be a bit of a disappointment for users expecting flagship level performance. However, the S25 FE does bring some good. News for camera lovers, it's expected to include a 12 megapixel front facing camera, which is the same one used in the standard Galaxy S25. So, users can expect better selfies and video calls. In terms of design, the Galaxy S25 FE is said to be thinner than the Galaxy S20 for FE, though still slightly thicker than the standard Galaxy S25. And according to leaks, the device will come with Android 16 out of the box, running Samsung's upcoming One UI 8 software. Now let's move to the Galaxy Tab S11 Ultra. This upcoming high-end tablet is also skipping Snapdragon chips. Instead, Samsung is continuing its partnership with MediaTek for its flagship tablets. The Tab S11 Ultra is expected to be powered by the MediaTek Dimensity 9400 Plus processor, the same chip used in last year's Tab S10 series. The Dimensity 9400 Plus is a premium chipset with an 8-core CPU. It has one prime core running at 3.73 GHz, three high-performance cores at 3.30 GHz, and for efficiency cores at 2.40 GHz. For graphics, it uses the Mali G9-5 Immortalize MC12 GPU. These specs suggest strong performance, especially for gaming, media, and multitasking. Geekbench scores for the Tab S11 Ultra are also out. It scored 2,675 in the single-core test and 8,039 in the multi-core test. These are impressive numbers, showing that the tablet is capable of handling heavy tasks with ease, like the Galaxy S. 25 FE, the Tab S11 Ultra, will also launch with Android 16 and Samsung's One UI 8 X skin. With this hardware, the Galaxy Tab S11 Ultra should appeal to professionals, students, and creators who need a powerful tablet for both work and entertainment. It's worth noting that this is part of Samsung's plan to expand its use of MediaTek. Chips across more devices, offering high performance at a relatively lower cost. As of now, Samsung hasn't officially confirmed the launch dates for either the Galaxy S25 FE or the Tab S11 Ultra. However, it's expected that both devices will arrive later this year. At the moment, Samsung's main focus is on its upcoming Galaxy Unpacked event, scheduled for July 9th in New York. That event is expected to showcase the new foldable phones, smartwatches, and possibly even a teaser for these FE and Tab S11 
Devices In summary, Samsung is making strategic choices to balance performance and price. By using the Exynos 2400 in the Galaxy S25 FE and the MediaTek Dimensity 9400 Plus in the Galaxy Tab S11 Ultra, the company is delivering strong performance without relying on more expensive Snapdragon chips. These choices could help Samsung maintain competitive pricing and attract more users in different market segments. We'll know more once the official announcements are made. Until then, these leaks give us a pretty good idea of what to expect from Samsung's upcoming Fan Edition phone and flagship tablet. Keep an eye out for more updates as we get closer to their official release.